Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. I bring you greetings, greetings of the amazing love of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love that is joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness. What an amazing divine love God has bestowed upon us. Let us be excited about sharing that love with one another, practicing each quality of the love. Today, I invite you to meditate on the beginning of the church, the Pentecost Sunday. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place, that's in the upper room, 120 disciples praying together. And the Holy Spirit came in a, an amazing way. Like a tornado, everybody in Jerusalem heard the voice of that tornado. But they looked around, it was settled around the upper room and the building was not being destroyed. Then the 120 who were there in the upper room, they came out with the fire of, with the, with the fire on their head, like parted tongues. And they began to speak in languages they never learned as the Holy Spirit inspired them. This is considered the birth of the church. This is celebrated at the birth of the church. Sisters and brothers, the Holy Spirit is upon us each and every day. The Holy Spirit wants to translate our tongue into tongues of joy, peace, patience. He wants us to speak in languages that we never learned. That is the language of love. Everybody can understand the language of smile, the language of loving eyes, the language of loving presence. One of the wonderful things in this nation is God has brought the world into this nation. All sorts of people from all over the world are here in this nation. How are we presenting Christ to them? Are we looking at them with joy, with the delight, with the love of God that they never experienced? Are, we able, are they able to see Jesus in us? the Holy Spirit setting us on fire, fire of His love. Throughout this day, we may encounter a foreigner, a person that is not just like us, a different person. Oh, sisters and brothers, let them see the fire of the love of Jesus glowing in us just like parted tongues. Now again, why did the Holy Spirit appear on the disciple in the sign of or on their head as parted tongues? Probably the Holy Spirit is saying, let your face and your smile, your tongue speak the language of love. God's amazing love. Not just your own love, but the love God has bestowed upon you. The miraculous love, the out of this world love, the eternal love. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us pray for the fullness of the Holy Spirit to come upon us. Transform us into His actions words and thoughts, his presence of the good news of Jesus Christ. 
Jesus came to die on the cross because of his amazing love. Love for the entire humanity, the sinful humanity. Jesus wants to live in us and the Holy Spirit wants to communicate this amazing love through us to the people around us. Not only foreigners, people who are different from us, but also to the people around us, our own relatives and friends. If they don't see Jesus in us, nobody else can see Jesus in us. And how can, we, how can they see Jesus in us? We need to see Jesus in them. We need to look at them with wonder, with appreciation, with respect, with joy, seeing Jesus in them. And when we do that, brothers and sisters, they in turn will see Jesus in us. So throughout this day, let us practice. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to go through us, seeing Jesus in our fellow Christians, in our relatives and friends, seeing Jesus in strangers, in, not even in Christians, people who are needy. Jesus said, whenever you did to the least of my brothers, you did that to me. Oh, brothers and sisters, we are called to be another Pentecost. We are called to be the anointing of the Holy Spirit to the people around us. It is easy for us to look at others and say, oh, well, that person is not a good Christian. That's the wrong way. That's the condemning way. That's the demonic way. What is God's way is admire people all around us whether they like us or not. That's divine way. Oh, sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us ask the Holy Spirit to come upon us and go forth from us in his powerful, fireful love. Let our words be full of love that is of divine fire. Will you join me in this prayer? Precious Lord, we thank you for blessing us to meditate on the coming of the Holy Spirit, on the birth of the church. O oh, Holy Spirit, continue to come upon us that we speak your language of love, the fire of your love to go forth from us. Lord Jesus Christ, continue to live within us teaching us to see you in others, honor you in others, respect you in others, glorify you in others. O oh, precious Lord, transform us into your radiant witnesses, fireful witnesses. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.